Daniel. And um, I want to bring you some information because um, if you don't already know who I am, um, I am a, kind of a serial entrepreneur. I do a whole bunch of different things. I'm in IT, I have vending machines, I do iPhone screen repairs and, and so on, right? I do a bunch of things. And so I decided to host a uh, vending machine launching workshop, uh, which is like a 90 day workshop teaching people how to get their vending machine businesses up, funded and moving in less than 90 days. So um, the reason why I did it is because, and I'm creating it, I'm hosting this event, is because I get so many questions whether people are emailing me or people are calling me or people are DMing me on Facebook and Instagram, I get so many messages about vending machines, how to get started, where to get money and so on, right? So I figured why not create something to help people to be able to do it. So this is what I'm, I wanna share with you kind of um, the journey that most people are on when it comes to um, the vending machine business and 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 then you know where people fall in this whole process so it's kind of like a triangle right and i'm not the greatest artist i'm going to try my best here and um it's trying it's kind of like a triangle and it has three levels all right and i'm trying to draw with my mouth so be kind with me all right so there's three levels there's level one level two and then there's level three. And this is people getting started in the uh, vending machine business and, and really a lot of different businesses, right? So, and I had notes down here too. So most people fall in this first category here, and I'm gonna change the color just so we can see it. Um, most people fall in what I call the content area. So hopefully it'll let me draw. <laughs> All right, let me see, guys. Uh, color. Here we go. Okay. So most people fall down here, right? And so let me draw. Let me see something, guys. Just give me a second. Um, Technology, right? It's great when it works. Okay, so most people fall in this category here, right? They are content. All right. Okay. I feel like I'm back in kindergarten here. <laughs> All right. So most people are content. Let's zoom out a little bit. All right. So they're content. And what they do is they go on their day-to-day -day journey, right? They go, um, they just live day-to-day, -day. they go to work, they, um, you know, usually these people, I don't know if it'll let me change colors, but um, that's fine. I don't wanna change it too much because it may not be there. So what happens a lot of times is these people tend to have a lot of debt. Um, it tends to be, this is really not working. I mean, it is working, but it's, it's, there's usually like no money in the bank. Um, it's just it's just rough, right? You're just living day to day. And um, I'm plugging in my power, so this is my IT taking over, right? Um, so these are content folks, right? They just go to work. You see them, you might be one of them. 
go to work, you come home, you go to work, you come home, you take the kids to soccer practice, football practice, all that stuff. Usually there's a lot of debt. There's no cash flow, really, right? And then what you have here in the middle, and I'm gonna change the color. So these folks are more like, there we go, yeah. These people are more aware, okay? So they're aware that there's something wrong with day to day, all right? And these are people are more active also, okay? So they're, they're more active. These are the people, these are the people, I'm gonna actually get a stylus for these, especially for my workshop. Um, these people are more active, and these are the people that might have, um, they're gonna have side hustles, you know, they might, um, golly, I never thought, I feel like I'm actually lifting weights, drawing this. <laughs> uh, all right. So these are people that'll have like side hustles and things, you know, they might do, um, you know, they might have their hands in Airbnb, they might have their hands in some, um, you know, DoorDash or Uber or Lyft or those kind of things. You know what I'm saying? They might even have second jobs, but they're more active. These are also people that will have a little bit of, they'll have a little bit of money in the bank, right? They'll also be able to get access to money if they wanted to start a business. Um, actually, that's how I got started. Um, I, I had a little bit of money saved up and I really didn't know what to do with the money. And um, and this is how I got into the vending machine business. All right. So, um, let me see if I can stop that. Oh, this thing. All right. Let me um, zoom out. Okay. So these folks may, um, man. all right, these folks are more active and uh, they got a little bit of money and so on. But, and then there's a third group. There's a third group. This group up here is proactive, okay? They're proactive folks. Um, and what they have is they know, um, spell out proactive here. <laughs> uh, all right, so proactive people, what they have is different, all right? They have a business that's launched, all right? So they might have a business name and, and so on. And they have uh, their business is cash flowing. Um, they might also, um, they, they get money from their business, right? Meaning that their business pays them, whether it's every week, every month, whatever, they get money from that. Um, these people are also buying and selling equipment, all right? In order to operate a business, um, especially vending machines, you have to be able to buy and sell. You, you have to understand that uh, because you you have to meet the needs of your customers, right? You have to buy and sell, all right? And um, these people are also looking to scale their business, right? So they might have one machine this year, two machines this year. I currently have two, um, but I'm in a position if I wanted to buy more, I could at any time. Um, I could reach out to the people that I got the machines from and get more machines right now if I wanted to, right? So um, so there's three there's three tiers, or three groups of people. There's the people that are content. Again, these are people that are living day to day. They're going to work, they're coming home. Um, these people don't have a lot of money in the bank. They usually are living in debt. Um, they don't really know how to maneuver through it. Then they have the level above that, the second group here. These are people that are a little bit more aware. They know that they need to have 
uh, more money in the bank. They know that they they, they usually will have side hustles. Um, they'll usually have uh, 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 they, they want to start a business. They have the, the concept. They might be buying books and learning how to start the business. They might be going to workshops and learning how to start the business. They might have a little bit of money in the bank. You might have money in the bank and not know what to do with it in order to start. And then you have the third group, which are the proactive folks. These people, um, they have a business already. It's cash flowing. They're buying and selling equipment. Um, they can scale their business if they want to. And all these methods in between, right? So usually people move between, um, let me see if I can make this big. Usually people are moving between levels one and level two. This is where most people are operating, okay? Most people are here. Now, where you are is completely up to you and completely up to your situation, but most people are in that place. But what I would say to you is, what if I could tell you that I could help you in less than 90 days get to this position up here where you actually have one, two, or three or more machines um, they're actually at locations where people can see your machine, they can buy from your machine, you can restock the machine. Um, you can be in a position to talk to businesses that welcome a vending machine, especially if you have a certain type of vending machine. Um, you know, you, you wouldn't have to worry about getting money for the machine. Uh, really, all you would need to worry about is making your customers happy, making the location owner happy, and being able to rinse and repeat. You know, you do it as many times as you feel comfortable doing it. All right. So this is not a fantasy. This is real. That's why I'm running this this vending machine workshop. That's what this is here. You can see behind me. And actually, this is a snapshot of one of my machines. Right. This is one of my smart vending machines, and I can put all types of items in there, from candy bars to juices, sodas. And, and then there's the whole uh, fresh vending versus traditional vending, right? You can also get into that too, where you might want to offer healthy foods for your customers. You can completely do that. So I am holding this workshop this Sunday, and uh, I will leave a link for the um, for the registration. If you're interested, you want to learn how to get into the business, I could show you and teach you how to have a vending machine business up and running in less than 90 days no fluff no lies no gimmicks um and and that's that's what i'm proposing so i'm i'm right here in baltimore maryland i mean people can reach out to me uh what i would suggest is to register for the workshop register for the workshop see what's going on with it um there is a cost with it but it's not expensive actually for the price for less than the price of dinner right if you went out to dinner for less than the price of dinner you can learn a skill that you can replicate over and over and over again and you can teach your kids how to get money for your machines and, and and how to do that and that's where i am in my process i want to give i want to help people uh, to be able to build and grow right? i believe that's my calling my purpose here on earth so Again, my name is Darnell Nathaniel. Consider where you are in that process, those three levels. Are you content, right? Are you um, active? Are you proactive? And where would you like to be in 90 days from now? All right, so that's what I have for you. If you need anything, definitely feel free to reach out to me. Click the link, go ahead and register for the workshop. I hope to see you on Sunday. And tell your friends, tell your family, let's get as many people on these things as possible that are interested in creating a real business in less than 90 days. All right, so until next time, peace.